Hello everyone, my name is Oetrooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Quant V graphics mod to your GTA 5. Now just before we go any further, I do want to say that this is a paid mod, so if you do not have this mod, I'm not going to be giving it away for free, because that is against the rules and it's also a really dick move. So if you do want this, don't try don't go try getting it for free on dodgy things, you'll end up getting a virus, so just please head down to the description below and check out the creator of Quant V and just pay him the £8. You can cancel it instantly. It's just £8 for this graphics mod. It's really, really worth it if you guys do like the look of it. Because trust me, it's way better than installing if like you know a scam one or whatever and getting a virus. So just please, if you do want this, do not try to rip it. Just go get it from the official page because it is a lot easier than having to fend off a bunch of viruses that will try to get into your computer. But anyway, what you guys are going to want to do is grab your download, open it on up, and then go to install and here you'll see an OIV so install this you're going to want to open up your open IV and then select Windows let it start up and then once it's started up all you guys are going to want to do is grab the OIV file go into edit mode and just drag and drop it into this little corner by here and it should bring up a little package installer hit install and then install to mods folder hit install confirm installation making sure you are installing it to your mods folder otherwise you know it will make a mess up some things if you do need to revert back to a couple of different game files but whilst this is doing that bring your download up and if you go back and go to optionals i'm going to show you guys how to install these optionals so for the optional presets basically what these are it's just a bunch of different presets which changes it. So if you have an AMD 6900 XT, that fixes your black reflection. So I would recommend installing that if you do have that spec. But then here it adds a brighter emergency light, which we're definitely going to be installing. Once it's finished, just click close. We're definitely going to install in brighter emergency lights. So to install this, all you guys are going to want to do is grab both of these and just slap them on your desktop. And then I'm also going to be installing this one right here. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. This one right here doesn't really make too much of a difference. So I would recommend using it because it does improve your performance. And then this one right here, I definitely wouldn't recommend installing. It basically just makes the floor a mirror, as I said. It just puts a bunch of puddles on the floor. This reduces skid marks at low speed. Vehicle skid marks, that's an interesting term. And this is just from the visual presets, which I did use the cinematic LUT or the lens for my GTA 5 Quant V tutorial, not the tutorial, the cinematic. I use that one. It's really, really nice. I would recommend using it if you guys do want to use tutorials, but I'm not going to bother installing that for today because it is just for my my game for other SPDFR videos. So to install these files right here, all you guys are going to want to do is grab the first one, drag and drop it into the exact same place, and it's pretty much just rinse and repeat, hit install to mods folder and confirm installation. And install but there is one more thing you guys are going to need to do otherwise your game will crash when starting up if you are running rage plugin hook which is lspdfr but if you're not then don't worry so the next one install mods folder install confirmation oh and there's one thing i forgot to mention actually thinking about it which i haven't had to use before but some of you guys might have to is if you go into optionals and you go to EMB performance, this is where you can choose your EMB performance. I can normally run the standard, which is st standard default is very high. I can normally run that pretty easily, but if you do want to downgrade, it's the exact same thing as using any other OIV. So drag it to your desktop, drag it to the corner, and it'll start installing it. And just for the last one, hit install, mods folder, and install. I'm not sure if I actually installed that. Oh, well, it won't do any difference. It won't make any harm. Once you've done that, for those of you guys on Rage plugin hook, you guys are going to need to make one more change, which is going to your GTA 5 main directory. Those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. And those of you guys on Epic Games and Rockstar Games, I'm going to put your GTA 5 main directory down in the description below. But for those of you guys on Steam, go to Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Choose a GTA 5 folder you want to mod. But for me, it's over here because I made a custom folder. Go into the GTA 5 folder. And it should have installed a EMB file, which is going to be these guys right here. So if you guys are not sure which one you are deleting, if it's the right one, if you go in back into your clean GTA 5 folder, which you should always have, you'll be able to see which D3D compilers you have, which is not the E. So go back into GTA 5 and delete the D3D E compiler. Just delete it by pressing Del. Once you've deleted it by pressing 
D by pressing uh, delete even. What you guys are going to want to do is delete one more thing, which is going to be this guy right here, and just press delete. And then just like that, your GTA 5 now should run perfectly fine with EMB. That is going to stop EMB from working, but basically Rage Plugin Hook does not work does not work with this version of EMB. But there is one more way around it if you really, really want to use EMB with your Rage Plugin Hook, which is going back. To, if you have deleted it already, then all you guys got to do is go back to your quick access or find your bin, which is mine is right here, and then go into your bin and just grab these two files these two files out of it. Obviously, if you guys are happy with not having EMB, it does save a bit of performance as well, then don't worry about this bit. That's the end of the video for you guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. But the other guys who do want to use EMB with GTA 5, all you guys are going to want to do is go to GTA 5 main directory and keep these guys in here. And then to run it, what you guys are going to have to do is you're going to have to go into your Steam or whatever you're using. And you're going to have to run it first. You're going to have to run GTA 5 first. So click play and then play Grand Theft Auto V. You're going to have to run it first. Keep this open. I need to close this first. Keep this open. Wait for GTA 5 to launch. And then around a couple of seconds into it being launched, which it should do here in a sec, or you get into this screen, all you guys are going to want to do is go in here. Bring it back up your GTA 5 main directory and just double click on the Rage plugin hook.exe. And then that should load Rage plugin hook. It'll find your game, hook your game instance. And just like that, like usual, you should be able to load it into your Rage plugin hook with no issue. Just like that, you should be able to load. Well, you have to press story mode first, but you will be able to load into your Rage Plugin Hook with no issue at all using EMB. But it is a very, very annoying, which is why I tended to just delete EMB, having to start a big game individually each time. But other than that, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.